Hi friends, welcome to Sri Sai IT Hub. In this video of Core Java Programming, we are going to discuss the following topic Stack class with any class objects, which means how to work with student class or employee class objects in a stack collection of objects of Java collections framework. So first of all, we'll understand what is collection framework in Java collections. So Java collections means collection of objects or group of objects as a single unit or single object in Java program. Then what is framework? Framework means library which is provided by Java in the form of java.util package to work with collection of objects in Java collections framework. So in collections framework, we have collection interface, which is a top level or a base interface for different classes and interfaces. So under this collection interface, we have four popular collection interfaces. First one, list collection. Second one, set collection. Third one, queue collection. And fourth one, map collection. And all these collections are sub interfaces for collection interface. So coming to some technical points about the collections. So collections is only for objects, but not primitive data types. So if we store primitive data type in a collection internally, it will be stored as object only. And in collections, everything, every data is stored as object itself and to be more precise it will be stored in object class object format where object class is a super class for all the classes in java programming so now coming to the concept of stack class with any class objects like working with student objects or employee class objects so stack class is available in java.util package. So stack class is inherited from vector class. Vector class is inherited from list interface, which in turn is inherited from collection interface and collection interface is inherited from iterable interface. So iterable interface is available in java.lang package and remaining interfaces and classes are available in java.util package so what is stack so coming to some technical points so stack is a collection of objects as one dimensional array in stack format so what is this stack format so in stack format we use lifo last in first out where elements will be stored vertically one above the another okay so one above the another that is vertically from bottom to top. So from bottom to top. So here it provides indexes to the collection of objects which are stored in a stack zero to size minus one. And these indexes range from bottom to top. So bottom is zero and top is size minus one. It also provides positions for elements and these positions will range from top to bottom. So top position is one and bottom position is size. So indexes bottom to top and regular positions top to bottom. Indexes are zero to size minus one and regular positions are one to size. So its initial default capacity is 10. It accepts duplicate objects and order of objects is preserved. And next it is a subclass for vector class. So vector class is a legacy class and stack class is also a legacy class. So what is this legacy class? A class which is clonable and serializable and its methods are synchronized. 
so it should be inherited from clonable interface it should be inherited from serializable interface its method should be synchronized right so now coming to the constructors and methods so if we see the description of the class java p hyphen p java dot util dot stack so stack class in, is inherited from vector vector is inherited from collection collection is inherited from iterable right so yeah vector is inherited from list list is inherited from collection and collection is inherited from iterable so this is the constructor whose initial capacity is 10 it's a default constructor and using push we are going to push the elements into the stack and these elements will be stored from bottom to top so we can add elements into the stack only from top right so now let us try to demonstrate this with a small program stack class example 3 dot java so take a new page so first we'll take a comments program to demo stack class with student class objects import java dot util package so let us take a student class with three data members int roll number string s name float height and then we are taking a parameterized constructor with three parameters int r string n float h so this r is assigned or initialized to roll number n is initialized to s name h is initialized to height and then we are taking the display method so in display method we are displaying roll number s name height of that particular student right so let us go to the main class stack class example 3 save it as dot java as extension with main method so first we'll create an object of stack st is equals to new stack and then we'll also create student class object s1 s2 new student and for this we are passing three parameters to the constructor 1001 psi 6.0 f so these will be the values for s1 similarly 1002 ram 5.9 f these will be the values for s2 and after that we are adding these two objects to the stack so st dot add s1 so this will be added to the bottom of the stack at 0th index position and then st dot add of s2 so s2 will be added above the s1 whose index position is 1 so 0 is the bottom index position 1 is the top index position and let's try to print the stack right so let us put a comment for the remaining case let's right, save this program so come to the command prompt and then compile the program java c stack class example 3 dot java no error and run it so we are getting the object reference code or hash code of s1 s2 objects student at the rate hexadecimal number right now we'll try to access this and display its details using get method so stack provides indexes so st dot get of zero so it will get s1 object reference so now internally this s1 is stored in the form of object class object format hence perform down casting to student class type and store that in a new reference s11 similarly st dot get off one down casting to student class type and store the reference in s22 so now internally s11 is a reference to s1 s22 is a reference to s2 so using that reference s11 dot display s22 dot display so it should display s1 data 1001 psi 
6.0 and then s2 data 1002 ram 5.9 f so save the program come to the command prompt recompile and run so s11 dot display which is s1 data s22 dot display which is s2 data so this is how we are supposed to work with any class objects in stack so that is what is all about stack class with any class objects in java collections framework thank you for watching this video do like comment and share this video and also subscribe to the youtube channel sri sai it hub have a nice day